Hey guys, so I don't get to do this unboxing video. This uh, blaster was already unboxed by Drac in the wake of him leaving basically today. He did the video on this, brought this back into me, said, yeah, uh, airplane leaves in so many hours. It's time for us to go. So that's basically how that went down. This is the Rebel Fearless Fire. I picked this up for Drac uh, since mine was the first store to get it. Uh, this is a Walmart exclusive and he said look pick this up because I'm probably not going to get it one uh, for a little bit. I want to get one of the first videos on it. You keep the blaster. This that the other thing. So here we are with our review finally. Um, some of my batteries in here are maybe just a little under uh, charged but it is getting strife-like performance out of a what is basically a barricade shell uh, or a barricade like setup for those of you who don't remember the old style barricade it is sideways flywheels uh, that is worth noting lock in here obviously uh, with the trust fire in here it was doing better um, I'm running all alkaline batteries right now and that was a poor choice because my ranges are sufficiently uh, decreased because of that but uh, when Drac had this running at actual full power it was getting strife like performance I expect this to be a very very nice uh, for cosplay even like this has an SMG sort of feel this front grip is interestingly comfortable for me it's small but it works um, and even this back grip it works um, I don't know why there's like a sling point here and here I see this one sling point being useful for something like that. I have some motors that I want to replace this with very soon. And uh, yeah, that that's basically my review of the Fearless Fire. 35 bucks, not quite worth it. Um, if you can knock this down to like 25, I would say this is worth it. This is a drum fed uh, strife basically. That's a good deal as far as I'm concerned depending on your play style. So that's my review. Thanks for watching, guys.